you came on my radio show last year. We had a good time. Absolutely. Um, and you told me you used to, at one time you supported Bernie Sanders. Um, you even wrote a song about Bernie. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, It's a classic. Uh, but you voted for Jill Stein. Yes. And why? Because in California, where we are now, uh, I knew that Hillary was going to win and Electoral College, the vote really wouldn't matter. And I wasn't really into Trump. I would say I, I really didn't like Hillary. I, I, I like Trump's debates, but I thought if Jill Stein could get the 5% or 15% vote, she'd be in the debates. And I still stand by that logic because if she was in the debates, it opens up a whole new conversation. And while I, I don't find her very authentic and I disagree with her a lot, I think she does have some foreign policy uh, you know, perspective that would add to the oh, debate. Okay. So, are you still a Bernie Sanders fan, or no? Nah, you don't I, like him anymore? I appreciate what he did to get people interested, but uh, I find him very phony, very fake. He parades around the country with some of the worst, fakest racial activists who <laughs> keep all races and religions down. Um, he lies constantly. He protects the media. He's trying to destroy Trump. He's brainwashing and, and getting now progressives who think, oh, I'm so much better than Democrats. He's sucking them into the Democratic Party with candidates like Andrew Gillum, who is uh, being funded by George Soros. And now they've got the progressive analysts saying, oh, this guy's a total outsider establishment. Yeah. You know, no disrespect to anybody or funders. But if someone's being funded by someone who's got, you know, 18 billion dollars, in their foundation, they're not an outsider. Right. You know, at least yeah. call it like you see it. I like him, I like him, this is who the guy is, but he's, he's uh, the wolf in sheep's clothing leading the progressives to the slaughter. Why do you like the Great White Hope in the beginning, the very beginning? In the beginning? Yes. Um, I just got swooped up in the Bernie stuff and I come from like a love, peace type mentality. So his, his stuff was appealing to me and Trump, uh, you know, I guess his aggressive stuff wasn't appealing to me at first. I liked him in the debates. I was like, okay, this guy's really telling the yeah. truth. And then as I started seeing him really start performing, and then I just like, I'm an actions over words guy. So everyone's talking, you know, Bernie talked, did the opposite of what he said. Hillary lost, doesn't matter. Trump won, did everything he said he was gonna do. And then I started learning all these things where I'm like, man, Trump was two years ahead of me on a geopolitical scale. Right. I didn't know what was going on. Now that I know, I'm like, this guy's a genius. He's incredible. He's doing, he's, I say he's the GOAT. Greatest the great of all time. The great white hope. The great white, great black hope too, right? <laughs> I think he's the first black president. <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> Are you playing. part of the walk away movement? Absolutely, yeah, I mean, I, yeah. And tell people what that is. Yeah, the walk away movement was started by Brandon Straka, who is a, a gay liberal hairdresser, Obama supporter. <laughs> you know, I believe he, he posted pictures of him at anti-gun rallies like, you know, was really going hard with the liberals and then had an awakening, realized that it was all a lie and just really wanted to free and liberate people. Really great guy. Also, you know, I hung out with him. He said my walk away where I talked about going from Bernie to Trump was one of the things that inspired him to make the movement. And then also I helped launch it through my pages. So I also helped launch it as well. But it, it's a brilliant movement. Brandon is incredible and it's also inspiring people to come out with their own testimonials. So the news says it's Russian bots, but there's thousands of Americans, black, white, liberal, progressive, like never conservative, like every story, everything that you could think of, like some guy smoking a blunt in New York City, just keeping it real. Other people that have worked in the film industry, like it's got everyone making tutorials, testimonials. Brandon's doing a walk away campaign march. So if you guys want to go to Washington, D.C., do that. Um, it's, when is it, that? I believe it's in... October. I got to check. I noticed a lot of young people are waking up. Um, and even with blacks, the last report I saw was 36% of black people are now supporting him. And I think among young black men, is, you know, it's probably higher than that because a lot of young black men like him. Absolutely. Once you see the truth, like I've always, I've always known something was wrong since I was young, but like I started weeding my way towards like the root of it. Yes. And like once you see it, th there's no going back. That's so right. like, you know, regardless of race, religion, gender, That's once right. you realize it and there's then you no expose it, you can't, there's no, that you just can't. So it's like our movement, just Trump winning and the media, social media, it's so effective that people like Candace Owens, uh, even Kanye West, like those two right there, you know, Candace, or Kanye saw Candace video, I think, and yeah. then started talking. I think Trump's black support went 11% to 22% like that. And it's yeah. like, it's just, a, it's a good, at least get a discussion. Kanye's not even talking that much politics. He's just like, mindset, let's talk about it.
I believe it was Maxine Waters, the Wicked Witch of the West, <laughs> with the low IQ. She said something like Maxine, uh, that uh, Kanye West should be quiet because he's influencing black people. And believe me, that's the last thing they wanted to happen. Yeah, the irony of uh, the, the liberals acting like the slave masters all the time, like, I, I, you know, I feel like they mentally and verbally enslave us, where it's like, not only are they not trying to debate us, like, here, let's talk to Kanye, see how he feels. Even Farrakhan was like, I support my brother Kanye. He's not on the, he's getting there. Like, you know, I know he's a little extreme for a lot of people, but there's people that don't even agree with him politically, but are like, trying to have a conversation. I respect that more than someone who says, shut up, yeah. don't talk. Like, I, I can't stand it. And yeah, those, right. that's what they do. The second, what was it, Paris Denard on CNN just argued with Phil Mudd or whatever. And it's like, the next day, sexual allegation fired. I it's know. like, that's, it's crazy. That's uh, evil. They don't even want to no, have a that's conversation. Evil. It is. It is. You got me to agree. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to. <laughs> I try, I just, I just like really try to think about my wording and usage and stuff, but you know, it's at a certain point, I might go full Trump. Just give me like 20, yeah. 30 years.